We are doing less than 9.7 compare decimals. The first question says the city park covers 64 hundredths square miles. About 18 hundredths of the park is covered by water and about two tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. Is more of the park covered by water or paved walkways? So the first thing it says is cross out what you don't need to know. And if you read through that problem, what is the information that they have given us in that problem that we don't need to know, that doesn't matter to us? Waylon? Uh, the city park covers over or, um, 5,400 square miles. That's exactly right. Good, Waylon. Give yourself a point. We don't need to know how big the park is. We just need to know if more is covered by water or walkways. So, we're gonna cross out that first sentence. The city park covers 6,400 square miles. Um, number two, or the second one says, circle the numbers you will use. Landon, what are the numbers we will use to solve this problem? Um, 0 0.18 and 0 0.6. Okay, and how do you say those correctly? Um, 1800 and 3 tenths. Good, so give yourself a point. And then, what do we need to find? Whether more of the park is covered by water or walkways. We need to find whether more of the park is covered with water or walkways. So copy that down. One way to do this is to try this. Use a model. So it says we will shade 18 hundredths on the first model and two tenths on the second model. So I'm going to shade 18 hundredths here, which is one tenth and eight hundredths, and shade two tenths on the second model. Now, which one did we shade more on? The uh, second model. Two, the second model, two tenths. So, 18 hundredths is less than two tenths. <clears throat> Landon, is that what you said? This one shaded more because this one's got one full yeah, tenth and that. then eight singles or hundredths. <laughs> okay, another way that you can solve these kind of problems is using a number line. Now, in order to use a number line, we have to be using the same value or um, we can't do a number line that has tenths or that is a hundredths number line to find tenths, unless we convert it into hundredths. So it says we need to locate 18 hundredths and two tenths. Think, two tenths is equivalent to 20 hundredths. So two tenths is the same if we add the zero to the top and bottom as 20 hundredths. So we're gonna find 20 hundredths, which is right here and 18 hundredths, which is before it, since 18 hundredths is closer to zero, um, then 18 hundredths is less than two tenths. Another way is to compare equal size parts. So we have 18 hundredths and two tenths. And 18 hundredths written as a fraction is 18 over 100. Two tenths written as a fraction is two over 10. We can turn 
to tenths and to hundredths by multiplying by 10, which ends up being the same as adding a zero to the top and bottom. So 18, uh, 0 0.18 is 18 hundredths. 0 0.2 is 2 tenths, which is equivalent to 20 hundredths. Since 18 hundredths is less than 20 hundredths, then 0 0.18 is less than 0 0.2. So the park is covered, more of the park is covered by walkways. Because if you go back and look at the original question, 2 tenths was covered by walkways and 18 hundredths by water. Okay, everybody get that copy? Turn the page. You can also compare numbers written as decimals by using place value. Now you guys do this all the time with um, um, whole numbers. Let me give you an example. You have a place value chart that has hundreds, tens, and ones. So whole numbers, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got a number that is um, 362 and 347. The first thing you do is look at the hundredth place, right? Mm -hmm. And since they're both threes, Sophie, what do you do next? Uh, you go to the next one. You go to the next one, which is the tens place, and we have a six and a four. Since 6 is bigger than 4, it means 362 is bigger than 347, right? We can do decimals the same way. So, um, we will use the place value chart in just a second. It says Tim had 5 tenths of a dollar, and Sienna had 5 hundredths of a dollar. Who has more money? So, for Tim, we're going to say 5 tenths. <coughs> So five of those tenth size sections. And Sienna, five hundredths. So we're going to say five of the hundredths. Now, remember, these are tenths and these are hundredths. Okay? So five tenths for Tim and five hundredths for Sienna. So clearly, who has more money? Tim. Okay? And now here's where the place value chart comes in. <clears throat> Let's start putting their decimals in. So 10 has zero whole dollars and five tenths. Sienna has zero whole dollars, zero tenths, and five hundred. So if we start looking, comparing like we did here with the biggest place value first, is the ones place, right? And they both have zeros. So we go to the next biggest one, which is the tenths place. Ten has five tenths, Sienna has zero tenths. So that automatically, we don't have to look at anything else. That automatically tells us that ten has more. Since, um, because we're comparing five tenths that ten has to zero tenths that Sienna has. Since five tenths is greater than zero tenths, five tenths is greater than five hundredths. Okay, it says compare the size of one tenth to the size of one hundredth. How could this help you compare five tenths and five hundredths? Okay, so the book gave us a good answer to this, which I'm going to write. So one tenth of a whole is larger, look up here please, one tenth of a whole is larger than one hundredth of a whole. So five tenths, five of these, would be larger than five of these. Okay? That's what we're going to write down. One tenth of a whole is larger than one hundredth of a whole. So 
So five tenths of a whole. would be larger than five hundredths of a whole. And it's just like Since one of these is bigger than one of these, five of these would be bigger than five of these. Make sense? Okay. Next is compare one and three tenths to six tenths. So we're going to start with shading the model. On this first model, we're going to shade the whole thing because it says one whole. One whole is shaded first, and then one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. And then over on the second one, we're just going to shade six of those tenth size parts. to me earlier today. It's really weird. It won't hardly let me shade the last tent. So weird. I guess it's like quick easy. It's like I'm too old for this like my mom always says. Alright, I got I'm it. Okay, so one and three tenths would be, we clearly shaded more on this side of the board, right? Mm -hmm. So one and three tenths would be greater than six tenths. <clears throat> okay, on the next one, it says compare 39 hundredths and 42 hundredths. So over here, we're going to shade three of the tenth size parts. plus nine hundredths. And then we're going to shade four of the tenth size parts on this model. And then two more, two hundredths. So... You forgot a square. No, it's thirty-nine, Cash. Three tenths and nine hundredths. You understand? I shaded 39 squares. Over here, I shaded 42. 39 is less than 42. Because on this one, I shaded four whole tenths, and this one only three whole tenths. Okay. Um, on these next ones, we're going to do place value. So we're going to put 0 0.26 in the place value chart and 0 0.23 in the place value chart. Now let's compare. 0 and 0 in the ones place, 2 and 2 in the tenths place, 6 and 3 in the hundredths place. Since 6 is greater than 3, 26 hundredths is greater than 23 hundredths. Okay, over here we have 7 tenths and 54. Now initially, when you first look at this, I know it's tempting to say that 7 tenths is less than 54 hundredths because you're thinking 7 versus 54, right? No, yes. But this is really actually a 70, right? Mm -hmm. So because it's, it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to add it to a 7. So let's go and put in the 7 tenths and then the 54 hundredths into our place value chart. And let's compare. 0 in the 1's place, 
Then in the tens place, we have a seven versus a five. Since seven is more than five, seven tenths is greater than 54 hundredths. And I would like for you guys today to add the little zero behind the numbers that are have a, have fewer decimal places. Wait, what if it's a number that has like, it's a hundredth and a hundredth? Then like you obviously don't have to add anything. Okay. okay. It's only if it's a tenth and a hundredth. Okay, does that make sense? If they've already got the same number of decimal places, you're not going to add anything. You're not going to mess with ones that are hundredths. Okay, uh, one in fifteen hundredths and one in three tenths. So one point fifteen and one point three. So I'm going to add a zero behind the three. Now it's got the same number of digits. 1.15 and 1.30. 1.30 would be bigger. Okay, 4.5 and 2.89. On this one, we're just going to look at the ones place first because we have different um, um, numbers in the ones place. Four ones or two ones? Well, four ones is bigger. So four. And then we can add a little zero so they have the same number of decimal places. 4.50 and 2.89. Okay, we're going to skip 6, 7, 8, and 9 right now. Don't do them because I'm going to give you special instructions on how I want you to do those. We're going to go down to number 10. <clears throat> and we are comparing decimals and fractions. So we're going to have to use a little bit of our of our brain here. So we are going to turn this decimal into a fraction. So what fraction does uh, that decimal turn into? Brinley? 30 hundredths. Very good. Give yourself a point. 30 hundredths. And if we compare that to 3 tenths, we have two different denominators. So guess what? We gotta turn three tenths into something else. What's it gonna be? Thirty hundred. Thirty hundred. So what symbol do we need? Equal symbol. Equals. So the other person doesn't turn. Thirty hundredths is the same thing as three tenths. Okay, over here we have four hundredths. How do we write four hundredths as a decimal? Ellen? Beautiful job. That's exactly right. 0 0.04. A 4 in the hundredths place and zeros before. And then, so we have 4 hundredths and 2 tenths. So let's compare our decimal places. We have a 0 and a 0, then a 0 and a 2. Which one is bigger? The two tenths. So four hundredths is less than two tenths. I added this zero on to make them have the same number of decimal places. So I have four hundredths or twenty hundredths. Twenty hundredths is bigger. Okay. This one is fifteen hundredths and one tenth. What do we need to do to turn them, in, to make them um, equal, or, uh, have the same denominator? Reese? Uh, you need to add two zeros to one and then we'll add a zero to one and then add a zero to ten. Yep, go give yourself a point. Add a zero to the one and to the ten. So now we have fifteen hundredths and ten hundredths. Fifteen hundredths is greater than ten hundredths, isn't it? Last one. One eighth and eight tenths. So first thing we're going to do, this one's different. This one is, um, we haven't been dealing with denominators of eight, have we? No. So not for a while. So we, t look, I turned 0 0.8 into eight tenths. How can we figure out which fraction's bigger? Sophie? 
you can figure out by pressing the oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Cash? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. Cross multiply. Remember that? How we use cross multiplying to figure out which fraction's bigger? So we go 8 times 8 is 64. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 is less than 64, so 1 8 is less than 8 tenths. So I'm going to draw a little cross multiplying here just to remind myself that that is how we did this. That's how we took a skill that we learned a while back and um, used it for something today. Okay, last question. Stop turning around. Stop talking. Robert had $14.53 in his pocket. Ivan had $14.25 in his pocket. And Matt had $14.40 in his pocket. Who had more money, Robert or Matt? So Robert had this, Matt had this. Who had more money? Robert. Robert. Did Ivan have more money than either Robert or Matt? No. So Ivan had this, which is less than that, and less than that. So here's what we're going to write now. So Robert, no. Robert. <coughs> has more. Then Matt. And Ivan. Has less than Robert and Matt. Okay, so after you copy that down, I'm going to have you guys go back and do number six, seven, eight, and nine. And here's what I want you to do I don't want you to just put the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol, I want you to put your zeros to have equivalent decimal places, um, or show me how you figured it out. So um, you can do fractions or mixed numbers, or you can just add the zeros. Um, and that, 